One of the few track vehicles on display at AUSA this year is this BA Systems M8 armoured gun system. This was originally developed some years ago to meet the requirements of the US Army to replace the M551 Sheridan light tank. Um, it was type classified, six vehicles were built and then unfortunately the whole program was cancelled. But now again the US Army is looking at its requirements and there still is a need for a, a very light air portable vehicle with a good gun. So this one has got a 105mm rifle gun for which ammunition is available from a wide range of sources and it's fitted with an automatic loader which holds 21 rounds of ammunition. The empty cartridge cases are ejected out the back. A key feature of this, it is fully air portable. It can go in a C130 in its basic configuration. But it's got a modular armour package. If we look now, you'll see this is the level 3 protection which is explosive reactive armour which gives a high level of protection against some light anti-tank weapons. It can be dropped by parachute on a, on a platform or it can be done by what they call LAPES, a low altitude parachute extraction system in which the aircraft is virtually dragged out of the back on a parachute. This was developed some years ago but since then technology has moved on. So if it did move ahead it will probably have some new sensors like this particular one. It's got cameras for situation when air was through 360 degrees. There are other automotive improvements. Also, this one has got rubber band tracks, which offer the user a number of advantages. That they're lighter, less vibration, less rolling resistance, and they provide a much better ride for the crew. There are also advances in, in thermal imaging technology, so there's lots of technology insertions from other programs, the M1 and the Bradley, which could be inserted into this, this particular vehicle. So it's currently got a 105 gun, but some years ago they did look at and fit a 120 smoothbore gun and also there was a hybrid electric drive version so this is a basic platform but there's lots of technology insertions you can put inside it to, in, to improve it. Main armament is a 105 rifle tank gun which can fire a wide range of ammunition types including Sabo, armour piercing fin stabilised discarding Sabo and HESH, what the Americans call HEP. Um, it's got a co-action machine gun as you can see mounted on the top is a 50 cal machine gun and also banks of grenade launchers. So there's plenty of stretch to this vehicle. Um, it can probably go up to about £35,000, but then in that case it's not, not fully air portable. So really, this is the basic vehicle which, with the aid of technology insertions, can really be developed much further.